What is up, everybody? What is good? What is good? What is good, man? How is everybody doing tonight on this Saturday evening slash morning, man? So, if you guys don't know, I did get a whole brand new setup, which I'll go over at a later time. I'll do a whole tour of that later on down the road uh, for my YouTube channel. But... Today we're doing something I've not done in a very long time. We're actually jumping back into some dubstep. But not just any dubstep, my friends. Today we are jumping into some metal step. Utilizing traditional guitar and the whole nine. So let me... Make sure it's sitting proper. Alright, we're good there. But I shout out to everybody watching, man. Yo, man, what's good? How you doing? But we're gonna we're just gonna jump right into this and see what we can do, man. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited, man. If you guys do enjoy this, be sure to hit that follow button. And be sure to share this around with anybody that you know will enjoy this kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah. Now, we did get a couple brand new uh, things that I'm not going to go into right away. Like, uh, Chip Synth, OP57, um, Alter Ego, I did get that, which I love Alter Ego, I've been messing with that a little bit, it's super fun. And, also, the main one that we're going to be using today is Gorilla Bass, as well as Unison Drum Monkey, which, as you guys know, I love Unison Drum Monkey, it's very, very good for, you know, just putting out quick stuff and getting stuff going and getting ideas flowing, so yeah. With that being said, let's get this started, man. Right off the red we're just going to hit up Unison Drum Monkey. And I know normally we would do, like, you know, a trap-type beat or something of that nature. But this time around, we're going for the EDM dubstep kind of vibe. So let's see what we got here. Let's see if they got any dubstep up in here. Ooh, they do. Hold up. I guess I just like to tag this so I can hear it. Ooh, I like that, man. And we are going to be adding in some guitar to it as well. What's wrong with that beat, dude? I like that drum pattern, man. That is super sick. Absolutely love it. I'm going to write a message here. So, uh, with that being said, man, let's jump right into this, dude. Let's get this party going. I do like this drum beat though, man. That drum beat is super, super sick. We're just going to drag that all the way across. And a lot of people think like, oh, you can never layer a guitar over, you know, whatever. Like, you can never layer it over, you know, dubstep and this and that and the other. Well, I'm one of the few that actually knows how to do that, because I actually have done that before. Now, we're going to go in here and go new pattern, and we're going to name this one... Mm, we're going to name this one bass, because a lot of the bassy shit's going to be coming out of Gorilla Bass. Ooh, that, dude, that bass sounds nasty. Oh, man, that bass sounds nasty, bro. Ooh. 
That sounds like some shit straight out of Alien vs. Predator, man. It's like somebody took the Alien vs. Predator thing and just, like, stereoized it, man. They give it a stereo filter almost. I like that. Let's try saw target expression. Okay, so we may or may not be using this. I do like Gorilla Bass, but because we're not getting the sounds that I was hoping for, we're just going to go straight into Arcade, which, as you guys know, man, Arcade is literally, like, that's my go-to right there, man. Like, anytime I'm having trouble with something sound-wise, I always turn to Arcade for ideas and samples and shit, yeah. We about to jump right in it.
Yo, get on TV, what's up, man? Sounds real nice. Yo, I like that. I like that a lot. Just drag it all the way across. And yeah, dude, I'm doing good. But like I said, you know, yesterday I just wanted to, you know, to really put my story out there and kind of share what the hell I've been through. Because I know a lot of people don't really know, you know, the real truth behind what has actually, you know, gone on. I wanted everybody to, you know, kind of understand where I was coming from, you know what I mean? And right, now let's play this bad boy back. Yo, that sounds clean, dude. Oh, that sounds clean. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. That shit sounds just so fucking good. God, that sounds so good. Now it's the same thing. Right, this time it's gonna be bass because we're gonna throw in some heavy dubstep bass with arcade again. I know a lot of people are always like, oh, why do you use Arcade? Because, dude, Arcade's a good-ass fucking plugin, dude. Like, if you're not using Arcade, man, I promise you, man, I use it a lot if you're using Arcade. Hey, Jasmine, what's up? And that's actually a really good friend of mine. Stop. 
Uh, what happened to... And so here's the ones that I have on. Bunker Breathe. Oh, don't worry, John. We're on cover. I no worries. Sounds very quick. Oh, we should be getting the roll.
And also, I will be showing you guys how to do like sounds as well. Like, whenever I start to do more music production on here, I'm definitely going to show you guys how I manipulate different sounds to get different stuff. Like, I'm going to teach you guys how I chop up video clips, turn them into audio, and then I take in that, take and grab that audio, and then I mess with it. I take and mess with it, chop it up, and sample it. So, so I am going to show you guys how I do that very soon, which I'm so excited about. Now I do have, I don't know the yes to see it or not, but I do have my guitar right here on hand. Because we're about to lay some fucking metal down over this shit. But uh, how's everybody's Saturday night going, man? How's everybody doing tonight? Let's finish rendering. And boom. Okay, so we're done with that though, studios. We're done with that. Now the fun this is where the this is where my personal favorite part comes in. This is where the fun begins. Now what I like to do is this. Band lab. Drag the band lab over here. Boom. Oh, I'm gonna sing up here on a goddamn lollipop. <laughs> Make sure everything is working on here and we should be good to go essentially. Oh yeah, we're good. Now we are going to go for tones. And we're going to do a metal tone on this. Because obviously it's a metal style. We want no feedback. We want the drive cranked up. We want the tone down just a tad. so far. Alright, now for this one I think we're gonna do the uh, there we are, the BLE 800 which is actually one of my favorite metal guitars on band lab. It's one of my personal favorites. I use it quite a bit for whenever I'm doing uh, guitar pieces. Absolutely love that shit. Alright, now let's move this down. I know a lot of people say I should have the guitar over it, but I like to have it under it just for shits and giggles.
first off, I need to take these damn rings off, man, because these rings are getting in the way of what I'm doing here. Over here trying to record. It's kind of hard to... Word of advice for producers, whenever you gotta do guitar pieces, don't wear like, don't do like I did and wear fit domain rings, because trust me, when you go to play, it'll mess up your timing on the frets. So we got the tone down. Now let's record this shit.
so we got an idea down of how to do it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this forward just a little bit. So we got that down. That's good. Now let's move this back. Now let's see how much more we've had to work with. Holy shit, we actually had a lot to work with here, man. Alright, now let's go back and listen to this next, see how it sounds.
Alright, so that's sounding good. Now we just need to add one more guitar to it. To just really, really set it off and make it sound super dope. And again, we're going to go right back into tones. And we're going to do a metal tone. might be a good one. Let's let's crank that drive up, crank the presence up, turn the treble off so I don't use that. Oh, there we go. Now let's test her out. So we got the tone down.
but we definitely have it down pat. I just need to get. So we got it down for the most part, we just gotta get rid of this little small chunk right here, so let's slice that off, get rid of that, move that back, Bring us all the way over here. And then we are essentially done. Bring it down to about the same level as the first guitar. Just to add to it, we're gonna add in one more guitar. I know there's a lot of guitars in this, but let's try 90s metal just to see how it sounds. <laughs> That might sound okay, let me try it.
Alright, so we have that idea down to an R. We just gotta fine tune it. But, I am gonna do some such for you guys per request a good friend of mine in the comments. I want to use modulation. Good there. Now let's go to YouTube. I know you guys will know this one. Now we are about to mess with this a little bit. Let's see how many of you guys rem let's see how many of you guys remember this one. I'm just gonna click random stuff and something I'm sure is gonna come to me because that's you know what I love about this kit. Oh come on. <laughs> that sounds so good. Oh yo, I'm grabbing that up. Alright, you know what? Alright, you know what? We're gonna start over on this shit. Because this thing is I keep forgetting that this amp does not like to work when I'm sitting down, so we're gonna do that guitar strap real quick. And we're gonna get shit popping. I keep forgetting that the guitar strap does, or the guitar does not like to work while I'm sitting down because the chord is really weird. 
Don't get me wrong, I fucking love my digital lamps. I really do. But this one does not like to work when I'm sitting down. So I do apologize for that, guys. Yo, what the fuck is going on? Oh, I see what's going on. Hold on. I see exactly what's going on here. And we gonna fix that. Now, I'm about to do something that very few are able to do, which is play violin chords on an electric guitar. Now, how many people do you guys know of that are able to do shit like that? Oh, we ain't done yet, man. We about to take it up another level with this shit, bro. This is the song that introduced me to dubstep. Now, this one right here, this is for all, and I mean all. Of my Skyrim fans. Yo, 420, what up, dude? What's good, brother? How you doing now?
tone. Oh yeah, we're in the right tone. classic for you guys. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. Shit, dude, the infinite fucking mirror shit. Alright, y'all, this next one will be the final one, man. I've got to head off today because I've not been to sleep yet. I've been up all night fucking working on shit. Alright, Last one, y'all. Join large scale battles. No one cares. Alright, y'all, that means so long. Hopefully, y'all can enjoy the game. Oh, great. We got another troll. Man, hopefully you guys did enjoy that, man. If you guys did, y'all already know what to do, dude. Smash that follow button. All that fun shit. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Late morning. Uh, I will be doing another gaming stream tomorrow. Hopefully with a few friends. I might hop on some Overwatch or something. Or I may even play a little bit of it listed. Who knows? But, uh. Like I said, to all the trolls out there, I just have one thing to say to you guys. And that is, you guys are a fucking joke. All y'all trolls are a fucking joke, man. Every last one of you is a joke. If you guys think that I'm going to respond to you idiots from now on, well... 
You're sadly mistaken because that ain't gonna happen. Me responding to you dumbass trolls is done. Your time of messing with me is over. You can try all you want, but it's just not gonna work, dude. And if you'd like to test that theory, you're more than welcome to test that theory because I'm not responding to any more troll shit on YouTube, on Facebook, nowhere. The troll shit is done. Entirely. I'm moving on and I'm getting my life back together to where it should be. So if you're a troll and you don't like what I do, well, I have one thing to say. Fuck you. Because trolls, you don't get a pass in this neighborhood. You don't get a pass to screw with me no more. Your pass has been revoked by me. So, yeah, all you guys' is trolling days, that's done. Cyrax, he's dead. Who even is Cyrax anymore? Who even is that? Yo, Von Bill, what's up, man? Welcome from Germany, dude. How you doing, bro? Hello, hello, hello from Germany. What is up, dude? Listen, man, for all y'all trolls that think you're doing something, you're really not doing anything. All y'all trolls that think that you're doing this and doing that and getting at me, those days are over. Cyrax, that person that you trolls made, he's done. He's dead. I killed Cyrax a few weeks ago when I decided to take back my life. Cyrax is a character that you guys built. Not what I built. Cyrax was an evil character that you trolls built. That's not who I really am. Like I said, I killed Cyrax. He's done. Over. Finito. That's not who I am anymore. I burned him at the stake, man. He's done. Gone forever. Never to come back. Y'all trolls that want to attack me, you're going to have to get used to the fact that that side of me is dead. This is a brand new chapter in my life and I plan on doing good shit. Oh, dude, Linkin Park's one of my top, actually, my number one favorite band, dude. Linkin Park's actually the reason why I started doing music. Fun little fact. Linkin Park's the whole reason why I started doing music. Chester, that was my motherfucking hero, dude. That was my inspiration for doing music, man. Chester and Linkin Park were the reason why I started doing music. But, uh, like I said, man, to all y'all trolls out there that think you're going to bully me anymore, you're done. It's over. Finito. Adios. Sayonara. Kick rocks. Get lost. Because y'all ain't controlling me no more. Like I said, I decided to take back my life after I found out you trolls were just using me for money. It's over. Done. Y'all ain't using me for money no more. I'm doing what I should have done a long time ago. 
and taking back my life and building myself back up to where I want to be and to where I should have been this whole time. And I'm not going to let some stupid ass trolls stand in my way. That ain't going to happen. Actually, Lincoln Park was formed in L.A. Now, Eminem, the rapper, he's from Detroit. Yeah, Eminem's from Detroit, Michigan, and Lincoln Park was formed in L.A. Oh, it's all good, man. It's all good. And but like I said to all the trolls and all the people out there that want to talk shit about me, go ahead and make your shitty little videos. Go ahead and share my videos around. Get me more popular. Do whatever. Because at the end of the day, I'm not responding to you trolls and all you internet bullies anymore. That part of me is done, dude. That part of me is done. Over. Finito. I'm moving on with my life, dude. I'm on to better things. I'm doing better for myself. I'm doing better for myself, for my family, and for my friends. I'm working my way back up to those sponsorships, man. I'm working my way back up to those sponsorships and working my way back up to where I was, to where I could start making money again, dude. To where I could start making a living again. And I'm not going to let some dumbass internet trolls from YouTube get in the way of that. That's not happening. But to everybody that showed up, man, I fucking love you guys. You guys are fucking awesome. To all the new people up in here, man. What's up, man? If you guys do not know what I'm about, go back and watch the other streams. Dude. There's a ton of other streams y'all can check out. Be sure to go peep them. Be sure to go check them out. Um, I will be working on a gaming channel starting tomorrow. I am going to try to get that up and going. I haven't been able to because obviously, you know, I've been babysitting a dog for the last week. Which finally is done. I'm done babysitting. Thank God. I love that that the she was a pain in the ass. I love her to death she was a pain. But I will have time now to be able to work on stuff. So yeah. And who knows. Maybe there will be some merch dropping real soon. Who knows. But uh, with that being said man. I fucking love you guys. Um, I do not have any music coming out as of yet. Because I want to wait till all the bullshit dies down. Before I start dropping shit again. But. I am going to be working on some game development stuff. If you guys don't know, I do have an industry in game development. I've worked for a few smaller companies that friends ran and stuff. So I am very well versed in that. And I am going to be working on that very slowly over the next few months. Um, and maybe here in a few months when I have a solid demo out, I will do the gameplay of that for you guys, hopefully. So I will be promoting that real soon over the next few months and once I get it going. But uh, yeah, that means that man, I fucking love you guys. I'll catch you guys late tomorrow morning. I'm not sure when I'll be live, so just be on the lookout, keep an eye out. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later, man. Like I always say, stay humble, stay positive, keep being yourself. Fuck what the haters say, man. Every one of you guys is motherfucking awesome, man. I fucking love every single one of you guys. You guys are all badasses. You guys are awesome. And you guys can do whatever the fuck you want to do. Fuck what these haters say, man. I fucking love you guys, and I'll catch you all in the morning, man. Peace.